Hi guys, happy well. It's Friday, but this is equivalent to my yay day commentary, which I should have uploaded from yesterday. And the schools that were featured in Wednesday night's airing of Schools Challenge Quiz were San Diego, San Diego, fresh out of Monk Street. And they went up against the men on the hill that were not in any shape or form hid and i have mixed emotions for this match because obviously you know jago get some serious them get a good run i mean i tell you say a some serious slippage that i saw coming out of that match but at the end of the day i saw where monroe rose to the occasion so let's the first, the first part of the match, and I do mean the opening challenge to the speed section, clearly, you know, St. Jager did what they do best. You know, they dominated and they did it quite effortlessly. Um, the likes of Miss Hessen as well. Um, by the way, may I warn you, Miss Hessen, missing some baby ear things drop. Like when them, when we did that watch the introduction and we say, what you offer goddess of my, what you offer goddess so oh, my girl, not do the baby ear thing, right? The mother come jinx this thing. So please, you see for the finals, please don't wear it. Come on, me know I say I'm bright, but me don't want nothing jinx to know. Big and serious. But anyway, um, so. The first part of the speed section, the score ended on Jago on 10 and Monroe on five. 5. They ended on 5. After the end of the speed section, they closed it on a, Jago closed it on a whopping, whopping 31. I know say anybody will go past that 30 mark there, you know, them proper. Um, so it was 31 to St. Jago and it was 23 to Monroe. So they went in with a eight point advantage. You see the buzz around now. You see about in a day, two minutes and something seconds. It's like Monroe catch themselves. It's like them say, yo. When we see them after a while, it's like them train. Like the feel when them train Monroe, them have a section there with it. It's like them them time them with the buzzer. Like the man them Catch the question them so fast. Them, them kick away Jago foot a couple times. Well, for buzz in early. So me, I want to know. Hey, it's when Monroe trained. Me picture them, you know. Me picture them a, a crawl through some tire and through some barbed wire and a swing over some wall and a do some hurdles. Yeah, man. Them thing up like that. Yeah. Athletically. Me could have said the athletics you know, the buzzing, the, the buzzing part. Right? So, me did appreciate that. I did. Um, so despite the, the, the closing, the closing scores, which had Jago on 37 to, um, 31 to 31 by Monroe, I could see where there were two questions that Monroe, um, answered incorrectly that if they had waited or if they had thought carefully, it would have answered um, accurately and they would have won. They could have won that match last night. But it was a very, it was a very good match. It was a very close match. You could see the sigh of relief on, Jake, on St. Jago's team when the bell sounded because it was, it was that close. And it put them, it made them come out of them comfort zone and that me like when them when pressure put on right like man a big couple shot well boop 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 you know all that now come back for the next match yeah and that man will tell them last night but anyway guys i enjoyed it thoroughly um but anyway hope you have a really great friday although i know this should have been sent up thursday my apologies my bad um well, please don't kill me things did happen I'm the Afi, you know, when the work call, I'm Afi D with that first. But anyway, guys, have a really great weekend. And I'll see you all on Monday. Toodles.